In this short video, I'm going to demonstrate the Edit Pipe Profile tool, which is part of the CGS Civil 3D tools. In this video, we're going to be looking at editing uh, the Edit Pipe command. Um, if anybody's ever used Civil 3D and you've got a long pipe run, they know that it's not a really easy uh, process to make these edits to this, especially if you want to say, hey, I want to change this pipe's grade down, say, 2% and I want everything else downstream to stay um, the way it is so maintain the same grades um, of the pipe things like that or the drop in the manhole currently you can actually take a pipe and you can grab it and you pull it down I could also edit it so I can go to pipe edit here and I can change the grade so I really want that to be a negative three so I hit apply and I go OK and there you can see you've changed it but now this pipe needs to be changed too because now I've got a drop so if I go ahead and change this one then I'm probably gonna turn around and I need to change that next one and so on and so forth so it can get fairly tedious okay there are other ways to do it you can definitely do it in pipe um, in your tool space um, but same thing there's a lot of little typing and stuff and like users just want to say hey I want to set this at two percent and I want to maybe hold the other thing. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to just change this back to what I had. And we're going to come up to our CGS uh, toolbar here. And I'm going to come up here to edit my pipe. And basically it says at the command line, it says set, select the pipe from the profile view. So that's the pipe I want to edit. And this is the view. And we get this dialog box to come up. So it's got our profile there and the pipe we're working on. It says align the pipe by the invert, the center of the crown. It says the lock pipe parameters. I want to lock the start invert. That's what I'm holding in this case, but I can lock the end invert of the slope. So you can see the start invert is grayed out. And at the moment there it says, well, my slope is at uh, you know two here. I'm gonna actually change this to say 5%, okay? So I got this 5% and I can go preview here and you can see what's going to happen is I got to go down 5% and it's automatically going to pull down this other pipe. Well now this one's going to be a little out. Um, what I can do is I can say I want you to lock the slope and, and drop downstream down to structure number five or I could change that and select a different one. So if I go preview now now you can see I'm changing that to 5% grade and then everything else is holding exactly what they had. Um, I can even come in here and I can say well let's change this. I want to put in a drop in here so I can go preview and there you can see I've added a drop but I'm now maintaining every single thing else on down the line. So I'm going to just change this. I'm going to put this at say 0.1. I'm going to hit preview and I'm going to go apply. And there you can see the pipes have updated and I can close out of that. 